Hello. In this video, we're going to teach you how to remove the subject from one picture and apply them to another picture. Basically, we're going to show you how to swap the backgrounds in these two pictures using the freeware composite photo app. So the first thing we'll do is open our application and then I'll touch this balloon icon and you can create a new document if you haven't already. I'm going to bring in a few pictures. The first picture I'm going to bring in is the background picture that I want to use. And the reason for this is it's a little bit easier to edit the picture that you want to pull from if you can actually see the background behind it because that way you can get a better idea of what it's going to look like once the photo is composited. So I want to take the subject of one picture and instead of the background they're in, I want to put them on this Eiffel Tower background. So now I'll touch the balloon icon and hit the plus album icon once again to pick the photo with my subject that I'd like to use. So what I plan to do is to remove this girl from the picture she's currently in and place her in this Eiffel Tower photo. So I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. And there are a few options that we have when removing the background of the picture that she's currently in. So I want to show you a couple different ways we can do this. The first thing we can do is touch the draw button at the bottom of the screen. And then I can select the fill tool using the little button at the bottom left corner. And what we want to do is fill the background with a transparent color. So I'm going to select the colors button. And I'm going to touch the color wheel icon in the bottom right. And I can choose any color. And it doesn't matter what color I choose as long as I move the transparency slider all the way to the left to make it completely transparent. And you'll see the selected color now shows that checker box, which means that it is indeed a transparent color. Now, when I touch somewhere on the screen here in this photo with this fill button, it's going to search for colors that are similar. So I just touched the blue sky and you can see how much of the photo it automatically eliminated because it searched for other colors similar to that blue sky. So I can touch up here in the corner for that section of blue sky it missed. And down here at the bottom you have this threshold slider. Use this carefully. If you slide this more to the right this way, it's going to select a larger selection when you use the fill tool so it will select icons or pixels that are not quite as similar and include them so slide it to the left if you'd like to make more refined edits so I'll touch a couple more areas here just to get rid of a few of those things and you see with just a couple touches I've already cleared the majority of the background of this picture so in order to touch up I'm going to use the eraser tool so I'll scroll through the drawing tools on the bottom left corner here and I'll bring my width of the eraser brush up. Bring that up even a little more. Maybe to about 50. You can see the red circle inside my cursor is the actual eraser. And what I would suggest is just doing simple strokes, short strokes with this eraser because if you erase a whole bunch and you do a great job erasing and then you make one tiny mistake and you hit this undo button, it's going to undo everything you've done in that single stroke. And if you've done quite a lot and just made a small mistake, it's very frustrating to have to go back and start over. So right now I'm just doing a rough erase of some of these edges that the fill tool didn't get very well. In order to make some more refined edits here, I'm going to touch the draw icon to get out of the drawing interface. And I'm going to touch the top icon in the top right corner to work with my entire photo. I'm going to zoom in on the whole thing and just get a little bit closer here to make a few more refined edits and get rid of some of the background that's still showing between her arm and, and body there. So I'll go back to the drawing interface. I'll use my eraser again, but this time I'm going to bring the width down to work with a smaller brush that you see here. And I'm just going to make little small eraser edits using that smaller brush so that I don't get part of my subject in there. And if you make a mistake you can just hit undo if you accidentally erase too much. And you can be as detailed as you'd like to be. I just want to give you an overall impression here. So for example, if you want to erase more, you can touch the draw icon to get out of the interface, zoom in on your whole composition, and you can be very, very picky about how much you would like to erase just by using a very small eraser brush and going over any part of the photo that you would like. 
to erase. But we just want to show you the general idea for now. We're not looking for absolute perfection. So I'm going to touch the draw icon, get out of it, zoom out of my whole composition here. And that's looking pretty good. And you can start to see how easy it is to remove the basics of a background in a photo. So if I want to get out of the entire composition work there, I can move one layer at a time to be where I'd like it to be. So I'll scale that whole work there. And I'll touch that icon just to work with one layer at a time. And you can see I've now moved a subject from one picture to another picture in just a few minutes. And I can scale up each layer individually to give it more of the look that I'd like. And then of course you can refine those eraser edits as much as you'd like to do. So that's how easy it is to change backgrounds using the freeware composite photo app. If you have any additional questions or ideas for tutorials that you would like to see, please let us know. Thank you for watching.